Enea Bastianini's ride to third place at the MotoGP America's Grand Prix, according to Ducati general manager Gigi Daligna, was an essential step for the Italian, whose future remains uncertain. Jorge Martin of Pramac failed to claim the title in 2023, so Bastianini, who is in the final year of his two-season contract with the factory Ducati squad, was spared demotion for 2024. After winning four Grand Prix races on the Grassini Ducati in 2022, Bastianini had a difficult season in 2023 due to injuries. However, 2024 is off to a far more promising start, with Bastianini qualifying on pole in Portugal and going on to finish second in the Grand Prix. He overtook Martin in the closing stages of the American race to take the lead for Ducati at the finish line, despite the fact that the Italian manufacturer had a difficult race. In his race debrief, Daligna praised Bastianini's determination, saying, It was a long and gripping race, lively and vibrant, on a track that is most demanding in terms of physicality. Numerous fights and intense overtaking that put us as the main protagonists in a brutal competition characterized by dramatic shifts in light and darkness. This is another important podium for Enea, showing that he is one of the top competitors on the track, consistently regaining his position race after race. After a slow start, his finish reached a crescendo, making it the first Ducati to cross the finish line. He currently sits second in the World Championship standings. More continuity was what he needed, and this is a crucial next step in the right direction. During the America's Grand Prix, Francesco Bagnaia and Martin experienced chatter problems, an issue that has affected all Ducati riders this year. This contributed Bagnaia's very meagre haul of points, sixth in the sprint and fifth in the Grand Prix, which Deligna described. Given that Ducati will be impacted by this problem in the early months of 2024, Deligna has placed a lot significance on a private test with Mikel Apiro before the Spanish Grand Prix this coming weekend. He continued, there will be no shortage of ups and downs for everyone because the championship is long and difficult. To offer our riders the opportunity to showcase their greatest performance, we must put in our absolute best effort. Therefore, the upcoming test with Piro in Barcelona will be crucial as we will be testing a few modifications to the bike set up there, which will then be confirmed with the factory riders during the tests that are scheduled for the day after the Grand Prix of Jerez. Marc Marquez of Grissini received praise as well by Daligna for briefly leading the America's Grand Prix before his brake issue-related crash. Despite his crash, Marc showed outstanding race interpretive skills, even taking the lead, which says everything about his abilities, drive and excitement, Daligna said. Reigning double world champion Bagnaia won the Qatar Grand Prix but missed the sprint podium in Portugal due to a mistake while leading before a collision took him out of that Grand Prix. Martin thinks Bagnaia is still the favourite to win the title this year despite this but he also thinks the fight is much more open than it was in 2023. I am not sure but I believe there are numerous riders who could be fighting for the title, he stated. I believe Pecco will always be the favourite because he is the best and won the previous season. We have Pedro Acosta, who is incredibly talented and consistent, as well as Marc Marquez, so we can never be sure. Enea had an incredible weekend. The crucial point is that we must keep our attention on the fact that we move fast everywhere. Martin points out that he is not too concerned about this at this time even though he is in a position to grab the lead early in the championship during the first few rounds. About where he stood in the standings, he said, for sure I don't look at the moment to that. It bothers me to consider that. However, this is the reason behind the points we are making. That makes me happy. We now have 80 points, which is a great number, so I'm pleased about that. I think we should be happy to stick to this direction or this approach, as we are doing very well, concentrating on ourselves and raising our performance from the previous season. I've had trouble with this track in the past, but this weekend we scored a good number of points and obviously it's better to be leading than in 10th place. The two-time MotoGP champion in the standings, Francesco Bagnaia, has praised rookie Pedro Acosta for his speed and no-fear mentality during the teenager's incredible debut in the Premier class. Acosta, the
the 2021 Moto3 and 2023 Moto2 champion, made his MotoGP debut in the top group in Qatar before finishing on the podium at Austin and Portimao. The Gas Gas Tech 3 rider led the MotoGP race for the first time on Sunday's Austin Grand Prix, finishing just 1.7 seconds behind Aprilia's Maverick Vinales in second place. First of all, he is impressing me much more than I was expecting. Honestly, he is very, very strong, Bagnaya stated. He doesn't give a damn. Tires. Not afraid. It's also fantastic to be competing at the top level without any prior MotoGP experience. I simply must give him a huge compliment. He is proving what a fantastic combination he and the KTM are. Bagnaya, winner of the opening Grand Prix in Qatar but off the podium since, returns to Europe having slipped to fifth in the World Championship, one place behind Acosta. Factory Ducati rider Bagnaya smiled, saying, I'm happy for them, but right now my ambition is to be in front of them. Acosta has broken Mark Marcus's 2013 record to become the youngest rider to earn two podiums in the Premier class in a row. Acosta may surpass Marquez as the youngest MotoGP race winner only until the Saxon Ring on July. Is fellow Italian manufacturer Aprilia ready to challenge Ducati as the most competitive bike in the MotoGP class? In terms of race victories, the current score after six races this season is 3-3. Three However, Aprilia only has four riders on the grid compared to Ducati's eight. With Maverick Vinales riding the RSGP, which has won three of the last four races, momentum is undoubtedly with the team. Massimo Rivola, CEO of Aprilia Racing, spoke to TNT Sports after Vinales flawless double at Austin last weekend, which included moving up from 11th to 1st in the Grand Prix. To be honest, if we really analyze the data, the number 41 was the fastest bike in Qatar. If we analyze the specifics, the number 12 was the fastest bike at Portimao. Once more, the number 12 bike was the fastest one here. Vinales only found the balance he was looking for at Portimao, having struggled to match Espargaro in winter testing and the first race in Qatar. It's possible that our bike is a proper racing bike. It's not a production bike that performs flawlessly on every track. We are all going above and above. It's difficult to find the perfect spot, Massimo Rivola said. With Maverick clearly in the right place, we are headed in the right direction. We have to make sure he stays there. Only a gearbox issue at the Portimao Grand Prix ended Vinales' winning streak as he was headed for a secure podium. Reliability was clearly a problem in Portimao. However, given how quickly the performance has grown over the last few years, Rivola admitted that there may be less time to maintain consistency in reliability. It's the cost we must face. Later in the season, we'll take another step. We are aware of the projects we are working on and their potential benefits. However, it takes time. He stated, it's not a plug and play device. Lorenzo Savadori and the test team and our suppliers need to work hard and quickly on this. With three points separating him from Ducati Lenovo's Enea Bastianini and Pramac Ducati's Jorge Martin, Vinales is currently third in the World Championship. But in Austin alone, Vinales scored 17 points more than the top two Ducati riders combined. Prior to unforeseen grip problems, Espargaro was the clear favourite to win the Grand Prix after finishing third in the Qatar Sprint. Now he is 17 points behind Vinales in seventh. What are your thoughts? Will Bastianini outperform Bagnaia this season? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for new upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.